Hey guys, this is Medicosis Perfectionalis. Welcome to my channel. Today, let's talk about the eukaryotic cell. So, let's get started. In the previous video, we have talked about cell theory, so make sure to subscribe to my channel and click on the playlist called MCAT Biology. There is a button called Save. Please save this playlist to your YouTube account. I've told you before that living organisms are either prokaryotes or eukaryotes. Today, we'll talk about the eukaryotes in detail. In brief, prokaryotes, no nucleus. Eukaryotes, they have nucleus, which I mean an organelle surrounded by a nuclear membrane or membrane-bound organelles. Organelles are small organs, literally. But there is a difference between organs and organelles. Organs are like your liver, okay, your pancreas, whatever. But organelles are teeny tiny stuff inside each cell of your body. So the liver is an organ. The liver has many, 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 many cells. Each one of them has teeny tiny stuff called organelles. So there is a huge difference. Okay, so here is the cell. These are called organelles. The center is the nucleus, which is the brain of the cell. This is the cytosol or cytoplasm. And here is the cell membrane, also known as plasma membrane. The cytoplasm plus the nucleus together are called the protoplasm. So protoplasm includes the cytoplasm and nucleoplasm. The living content of the cell that's surrounded by a plasma membrane is the protoplasm. Organelles are subunits in the cell with a specific function. They are suspended in the cytosol. In eukaryotes, most organelles are membrane-bound, which are separate cellular compartments. This is a very important point. Cell membrane or plasma membrane is a lipid bilayer. What type of lipid? Phospholipid. Any membrane in biology is not one membrane, it's two membranes with an intermembrane space in between. This is a very important point. When we talk about the cell membrane, same stuff. It has two membranes and a space between them. How about the mitochondrial membrane? Same thing. How about the nuclear membrane? Same exact thing. Two membranes and a space in between. So there is an outer membrane, inner membrane, and the intermembrane space. So here is the cell membrane or the plasma membrane. It's a phospholipid bilayer. It has a hydrophilic head. Hydro means water, philic means lover, the head that loves water. But it has a hydrophobic tail. A tail, sorry, tail, I'm so sorry, that hates water. So, what's the purpose of the hydrophilic head? It interacts with the aqueous environment outside in the extracellular fluid, also known as the interstitial fluid, which is between the cells. Cool, what's the purpose of the hydrophobic tail? It's a highly selective barrier, because not everything can pass through lipids. You have to be a lipid to pass through a lipid. Or we have to wrap you in like a vesicle or something like that, which we will discuss later. So, hydrophilic head, hydrophilic head, hydrophobic tails in the center. And here is the cytoplasm, here is the nice nucleus. So, some quick points. The nucleus carries the genetic material in form of DNA organized into chromosomes. The cytosol allows for diffusion of molecules through different areas of the cell. It's just like the water that everything is suspended in. Organelles include mitochondria, lysosome, endoplasmic reticulum, peroxisome. Mitochondria is plural, the singular is mitochondrion. Every structure needs a skeleton, and your cell is a no exception. It has a skeleton called a cytoskeleton, because cyto means cell. Let's turn our attention to a very important topic. Form 
follows function. This is a crucial concept. Sperms need to move. Yes, they will need a lot of energy. Yep, so they will have lots of mitochondria. The islets of Langerhans in your pancreas, they need to secrete. They secrete insulin and glucagon. So they need lots of Golgi and endoplasmic reticulum. Red blood cells, they just carry oxygen. That's what they do. They don't need any organelles. They have no organelles and no nucleus. But keep in mind that there is a difference between mature and immature red blood cells. Immature red blood cells used to have a nucleus, but when they matured, they lost their nucleus. Here's a summary of the organelles and their function. The mitochondria, they are the power plants, they provide energy. Lysosome is the soldier, it destroys stuff. Endosome is the delivery guy, it packages stuff and deliver them. Endoplasmic reticulum can be either rough endoplasmic reticulum or a smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The rough is the translator, it translates protein for secretion. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum is the donut. Fat synthesis is its job. Golgi apparatus is the sorter. It modifies cellular products, sort them, and direct the delivery. Peroxisome is your personal gem trainer. Destroys the fat. Question of the day. What's the difference between cytoplasm and cytosol? Let me know down below in the comment section. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on all of these platforms, and please consider supporting this channel on Patreon. Thank you so much for watching. This is Medicos Perfectionalis. Be safe, stay happy, and study hard.